Master, Juarez, time to get this party started. Well, the inspiration to G-Force came from my five-year-old son at the time. He's now 11, and he brought home the class guinea pig from preschool. Brought it in and put it on the kitchen table and told my wife Giselle and I this little story of how he would take the guinea pig and he'd have a helmet and a backpack and this little character would go off and save the world. And that was really the inspiration behind developing the, the G-Force characters. Do you want to abort? No, no, it's okay. I've been trained to do this. Uh, he told me I was going to be a guinea pig and I said, I'm not going to be a guinea pig. What else have you got? <laughs> There's no way I'm going to play one of those cute, cuddly, uh, domesticated, boring little animals. I need an animal with a long tail and someone that says, how dare you pick me up in a star nose? I mean, that's an interesting character to me. Now get your fuzzy hind end moving. Hold on, there's a civilian passing through the perimeter. What are you looking at? Move along, pal. I wanted to change my voice. I, I wanted to use Mel Blanc as a model. He was the wonderful genius behind Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam, the list goes on, all the Looney Tunes characters. I'm pretty sure this is animal cruelty, but I love it! Yeah! You know, I have an accent on my New York accent, so certain words I had to make, I wanted to make sound clear, so... For me, it helped. I, I, I got in, I got good grammar. I had training. You know, I can only, I, 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 I can almost sound white. Cool stuff. Look, colorful sweaters. Welcome, my friends, to the family. What is the bathroom? Well, for me, pretty much where you're standing. Oh, oh it's nasty! 